The Toronto Raptors made their biggest move of the night right before the start of the second round of the NBA draft when they sent Jalen McDaniels to the Sacramento Kings in a trade that I still can't quite believe they actually pulled off. Let's get into it. Yes, the Toronto Raptors were actually able to trade Jalen McDaniels in a move that nobody saw coming. They were able to send him over to the Sacramento Kings. And again, I, I cannot believe the Raptors pulled this trade off. They received Davian Mitchell, Sasha Vizenkov, the 45th overall pick, which eventually became Jamal Shedd, as well as a 2025 second round pick via the Portland Trailblazers. This is an unbelievable move. And to be honest, it's a complete and utter fleece by Masai Ujiri and the Raptors front office. And I'm going to explain why over the course of this video right here on Amateur Hour Sports, the YouTube channel completely dedicated to Toronto Raptors content, be it in videos like this, as well as live streams on the channel. Drop a like if you enjoyed this one along the way and subscribe for more content. We're talking about the trade tonight, tomorrow. We're talking about the Raptors' decisions in the second round, drafting three exciting players, including Jamal Shedd, who was involved in this trade here. So when this trade initially broke, it was revealed that the Raptors were trading Jalen McDaniels to the Sacramento Kings. I mean, hallelujah. We finally got off Jalen McDaniels. I didn't, I didn't even think that would be possible, but the Raptors actually got off Jalen McDaniels. Then we saw the initial part of the return. We got David Mitchell and Sasha Vizenkov for Jalen McDaniels. Well, surely the Raptors have given something else in the trade. Surely some sort of draft capital is going the way. I was kind of thinking... We're giving away the 31st overall pick to make this trade happen. Then we got the information that Sacramento was also adding in the 45th overall pick. And then I was like, okay, we're definitely adding in something. Very likely now the 31st overall pick. But then the next report came out and a 2025 second round pick via Portland was also in the deal. And the Raptors only had to give up Jalen McDaniels to make this trade happen. This trade makes absolutely no sense to the Sacramento Kings really whatsoever here. I get it. Look, they're trying to avoid going over the cap. They're trying to avoid paying any luxury tax. That makes complete sense here. But the amount that they are giving away to make this trade happen for Jalen McDaniels. For Jalen McDaniels. Like, did they watch this guy last season? I'm not even exaggerating when I say Jalen McDaniels was one of the worst players in the NBA last season. Jalen McDaniels played for one of the worst teams in the NBA who was tanking and at the same time was absolutely decimated by injuries. And he still couldn't lock down a regular rotation spot. That is the extent of how poorly Jalen McDaniels played last season. He couldn't get into the lineup with a regular degree of consistency on a team that had the sixth worst record in the NBA. That was purposely trying to lose basketball games. And had so many injuries that they could barely even get enough players to play on some nights this season. That's the team that he struggled to get minutes for. And the Sacramento Kings have given us the 45th pick, a Portland second round pick, which could be pretty good next year. Sasha Vizenkov, the 2023 EuroLeague MVP, and Davian Mitchell, a ninth overall pick in the 2021 NBA entry draft. Like, it's surreal. I can't believe the Raptors pulled this off. And even understanding from a Kings perspective that they wanted to stay under the cap, like, I don't think they had to give up this much to make this trade happen. So let's talk about the pieces the Raptors got in this trade and talk about why this is such a good move for the Raptors. So if you've been following the channel for a while, for I guess it's been three years now where the Raptors have failed to address the backup point guard position, they've finally done something here to make the steps to address this. Davian Mitchell really does plug the hole that is the backup point guard. He plugs the void that is the backup point guard slot for the Raptors. When Emmanuel quickly was out this season, it was Scotty Barnes starting at point guard. And when he got injured, it was Bruce Brown starting at point guard basically for the Raptors. Davian Mitchell can provide some good minutes off the bench. His big claim when he got drafted ninth overall was how good he was on defense in his season with Baylor. He passes the eye test in that respect. He still is a fantastic defender, especially as a point of attack defender. It earned him in his Baylor days the nickname Off Night because when you play against him, you have an off night. Maybe one of the coolest nicknames in all of sports. He can still bring good defensive levels, but what he brought to Baylor that he didn't bring initially to Sacramento was three-point shooting. But that certainly improved last season. He started showing signs of being able to refine that shooting stroke from beyond the arc. So there's already that great defense there. The Raps lack defense, especially at the point of attack. David Mitchell is definitely going to help in that regard. And if the Raps can tap into some shooting upside here, look, he's only just finished his third NBA season. He was the same draft class as Scotty Barnes. 
He's still in his mid-20s here. There is still some potential for the Raptors to tap into here, but even in his current state, you know, this is an improvement to what the Raptors have had previously with the backup point guards like Malachi Flynn, Delano Banton, and I think that this really does fill the void of the backup point guard spot. Not the backup point guard we needed, but can do a job here in a spot that the Raptors were in desperate need of adding on depth to and drafting Jamal Shedd with the 45th overall pick provides some pretty good competition as well for Mitchell at that backup point guard spot. So this trade immediately addresses a lot of the concerns the Raptors had for their point guard depth. And alongside that, they also add in Sasha Vizhenkov, who dealt with injuries last season and just didn't really fit into what the Sacramento Kings were doing. He was a 2023 EuroLeague MVP, came over to the NBA, and it's obviously going to be a difficult adjustment. The EuroLeague is completely different to the NBA in the way the basketball is played. But what Sasha Vizhenkov can do definitely can shoot the ball and can play a role for the team. Kind of slow-footed. There's going to be a bit of a worry for what he can do defensively, but the shooting is there. And I think that there is talent here for a guy in his late 20s that will accept a role. And I think that this is a player that Darko Ryakovich is going to relish working with. Like I don't want to play the European card here, but you know, with Darko Ryakovich's experience coaching in Europe, hopefully he can carve out a role for Sasha Vizhenkov to find more success at the NBA level. But at the very least, I think this is definitely a player in Vizhenkov who can compete for a rotation spot and probably be involved within the Raptors rotation and provide some much needed floor spacing to this team overall. Like just to have him as a bonus in this deal, what a great pickup. If things don't work out, he only makes six and a half million dollars. He has a team option worth $7 million for next season. That's not handcuffing yourself at all. David Mitchell, he's on the last year of his rookie contract where the Raptors have him as a restricted free agent and can choose to keep him. Like their security on these players and it's all for Jalen McDaniels, who the Raptors, like four and a half million dollars, like it almost felt like it was too low to think about it, but he seriously could have been a buyout candidate. The Raptors could have thought themselves just to wipe their hands clean of this horrible contract they gave Jalen McDaniels and buy him out just so he's not taking up space for this season. Like it's a player that if I was the Raptors, I would have strongly considered buying out. And the Raptors possibly, well, the Raptors have a clear player to be in the rotation in Davian Mitchell and probably somebody else who's going to be challenging for a rotation spot in Sasha Vizenkov for a guy they would have discarded in Jalen McDaniels, not to mention getting Jamal Shedd with the 45th overall pick and a 2025 second round pick from the Blazers who are probably still going to be bad. Like that's going to be an upper tier second round pick that the Toronto Raptors are getting in 2025. This is an unbelievable move pulled off by Masai Jiri, who was really starting to Put things right again, again for this franchise. I mean, there was some really down years where things weren't going right from a front office standpoint, but the pieces are starting to be put back into place here. Like that OG and an OB trade, the Raptors got an amazing deal out of that. I think the Raptors absolutely crushed it at the NBA draft. We'll talk more in the next video about the three players the Raptors did draft in Mogbo, in Shed, and in Chomsky as well. Great business overall being done by the Raptors. And a trade like this shows the hunger and aggression from the Raptors. Not to mention the other trade they did to move back into the draft for the 57th overall pick to, to get the guy they wanted. There is a true hunger and aggression being displayed right now by the Toronto Raptors to put things right. There is a showcase here from the front office. And they're really telling us that the season that just transpired where they were a bottom six team is unacceptable and they don't want that to happen again and they are solving the areas of concern here they are working to fill the voids in the roster and a lot of the guys that they're bringing in like all the guys that they drafted and a guy like Davian Mitchell they're really finding guys who have the desire and the hunger and the hustle to be winners and to do everything they can for their team this is a really nice group of players that they are assembling together here and it's making me all of a sudden a whole lot more optimistic for next season. You know, still kind of wondering what their upside is as a team. I guess things will kind of piece together as we get towards free agency as well. But this is turning into an excellent group of players to work with. And with Scotty Barnes signing the max contract, we're starting to get some more shooting around him. We're starting to add in defense and we're bringing in some young players who have upside in the draft as well. Everything is going really well for the Raptors right now, and this trade might be the best of all. Unbelievable move pulled off by the front office to get rid of McDaniels, who is almost worthless, and get pieces like this in return. 
honestly, I, I still can't believe the Raptors pulled this one off. But what do you think of the trade? What do you grade it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the deal in the comments down below. That's all for me for today. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you do subscribe to the Amateur Sports for more Raptors content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Talk about the second round prospects. And I'll be live at the start of NBA Free Agency right here on the channel.